Hello everyone, we are taking it back today. I'm gonna talk about all the polishes that I've been wearing here lately. There's not very many, admittedly, there's not a whole lot. Um, January has taken me by storm. I have had the opportunity to do something and so that's where my focus has been. My life is gonna be a, a little, a lot of bit chaotic um, all the way through April, maybe into early May. Um, so you may not see as much of me and there's gonna be times where I actually cannot record. So maybe I'll just like pop out my phone, sit in my car and share with you what I've been wearing um, and do bi-weekly manis that way. I mean, do you guys mind? I don't know. I'm literally not gonna have a place to record, a quiet place to record. So that's just the way that life goes sometimes. But I'm gonna talk about the polishes that I've been wearing lately. Some of these I wore in December. Um, actually, there's just one that I wore in December because I took my break from YouTube very, very seriously uh, because I was just spending time with my family, you know? That's the way it goes around the holidays, so. That's what I did. In December, I talked about what I wanted to wear on Christmas. I was a little up in the air, but I kind of had an idea of what I was going to wear. And I did ultimately end up wearing Holidays from Noodles Nail Polish. This is a cream curly with what looks like gold, red, green, silver glitters in various sizes. It looks like a sugar cookie to me. I'm not a fan of sugar cookies unless they're like those loft house, like super plump ones that you get at the, the grocery store. Why are those so good? <laughs> those are delicious. I don't buy them because I will eat the whole container, but those are really, really good. And that's what this reminds me of. The formula on this is great. I wore it at two coats. I'm probably gonna have to re-swatch it because I don't even know if I kept my swatch photo of this. So you guys just might see a newer photo, but um, yeah, the formula was great. I did go ahead and throw on a thick glossy top coat because this does dry textured. It's got a lot of glitter in it, but I don't mind one bit. The next mani that I wore was a stamping mani and I did post it in my Insta stories. So you may or may not have seen it. I did actually do a video for this, but the footage is horrible. It is so bad. If you guys want me to do it, redo it, I will do it. But I, I almost feel like it's like people are over winter and this is definitely a winter mani. I used Uber Chic's Jingle All The Way plate. I went for that fair aisle design in the upper left hand corner. My base color was the Selling Hansen Insta Dry in white on time or white on white. I can't remember, but I did go ahead and pour it into this Zoya bottle because the brush on my Sally Insta Dry bottle was so horrible. It was so bad. I, just, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it. So I did go ahead and pour it into this empty bottle that I had from Zoya and I like it much better. So I'm showing a Zoya bottle, but this is not a Zoya, a Zoya polish. Um, so I did go ahead and I applied two coats of that because that's a really great white. The stamping polishes that I used were Transland, which is kind of this aqua color, and the purple is Monarch's Dream. I loved this color combination. I loved it. It is just, it's so cute. It's pastel and wintry. I just love the look so much. I did go ahead and top it off with a matte top coat. In this case, I use Ingernhart Lacquer's uh, Sea Glass top coat. I can't remember what it's called. I really like that one. It's got a soft velvety matte look and not that super dry. It looks like your nails are parched to look. While I was gone, I did pick up a couple polishes. If you watched my haul video, you know that, but I did end up wearing Let's Be Friends. This is just a beautiful, pale, very white pink, and I'm a sucker for them. I <laughs> have enough of them. I don't need any more, but I continuously buy them. I know many people are upset that this is not the original formula or original color, and I'm a super fan of the original. That's one of my favorite pale pinks, uh, but this is still in the same color family. It's still beautiful, and I still really, really enjoyed it. It doesn't have the same formula as the original because I feel like this one is much more opaque than that one. I actually ended up wearing this in two separate manis. I ended up putting on something else and then I ended up receiving some PR from Noodles Nail Polish and one of those polishes in the collection that was just released is Ice Dance. This is a glitter topper and the combination of these two together just blows my mind. I love this and I want to wear it again and again and again. I am so excited about this color combination you guys. I love it so much. I just applied one coat of Ice Dance over two coats of Let's Be Friends and it's just perfection. The polish that I wore between each time I wore OPI's Let's Be Friends was Wildflower Lacquer's Kick Some Ass and Drink Some Beer. This was sent to me as PR. 
but I'm keeping this one. I am keeping this one. It is so, it's so vampy, but there is a touch of brightness from the Aurora Shimmer that's in this. And when I wear this on my nails, at least against my skin tone, it looks like velvet. I could not stop staring at my nails. I remember cooking dinner and the light just kept hitting it and it just looked like velvet. It was so, so pretty. And the last polish is Orly's Afterglow. I love this polish. I've worn it multiple times. I'm currently wearing it on my toes. It just, it looks really good. I am a sucker for pastel neon corals and this fits right into that category. That's actually my power color. When I wear this color, I feel confident. I can take on the world. I just feel really, really good. So I decided to go ahead and throw this on my toes this month. And I love it. I love it so much. Now the brush on these Orly's are not my favorite for doing my toes, admittedly. They're just way too round, way too bulky. So that was a bit of a drawback, but overall, I love this shade. If the brush was a little different, that'd be nice, but I can deal with it because this polish is just so beautiful. That is it. Those are the polishes that I've been wearing. Let me know what you guys have been wearing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!